In today's gospel, we heard Jesus proclaim that the kingdom of God is at hand. And he called us to conversion of change of heart. In the first reading, Jonah warned the people of Nineveh to repent, and they gracefully fulfilled it. Jonah was hesitant in the beginning to fulfill God's plan, but with change of heart and trusting in God's mercy, he succeeded. We must stand ready to change our sinful ways to be closer to our Lord Jesus Christ. My brothers and sisters in Christ, today, like every Mass, we are called to examine our lives and turn from our sinful path so that we might respond to God's call. For example, we must be friendly to one another and welcome each other so that others can see our words and deeds are genuine. Let us be like the Galilean fishermen when sermoned by Jesus, they promptly joined him. They immediately left everything behind. We too might be called to assist others in need in our busiest moment. So let us look closely and examine our lives if there is a need to walk away from the wrongness with complete humility. Let us spend some time with those who might need our assistance to make a meaningful change in life. Talk to them and support each other in your path of journey. In the psalm, it reminded us that we are in need of God to guide us in the right path because we cannot do with our own human effort. Yes, we experience God's compassion, not only that He forgives us our sins, but also He teaches us how to avoid sin. God treats us like loving parents to treat a child. He guides and instructs us in His ways if we allow Him. God teaches us how to be good, righteous, and humble. In the second reading, we have been reminded that in our suffering from serious illness or had a bad accident, we often realize how precious life can be. Although we might at one moment, we, we are here and the next we might be gone. This fact helps us to discern what is important and what is secondary. Simple ask the community in Corinth to have a genuine lifestyle and be faithful to God every day in their lives so that they live each moment to the fullest. My brothers and sisters in Christ, we know that the first apostles left all that they had and they followed Jesus whatever, wherever he went. This is also our call as Baptist Christians. We do not necessarily have to leave our homes and families, but we have to leave our Christian calling in a way that everything else, work, possession, status, and many more is secondary. Again, remember to avoid and be cautioned to those things that will hinder us from answering God's call. May God bless us all.